Hi guys, are you curious about how pharmaceutical companies ensure the safety and efficacy of the new medications? In this video, we'll dwell into the fascinating world of stability testing where science meets strategy. Discover how bracketing and matrix techniques allows researchers to streamline testing process without compromising accuracy. Whether you're a student, a healthcare professional, or simply intrigued by the science of pharmaceuticals, this video is sure to captivate your interest. Hit the play button and embark on a journey through the science of stability testing. Welcome to Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share, and grow. Ever wondered how drug companies test if their medicines stay good over time? They use two small tricks called bracketing and matrixing. Bracketing involves testing only the extremes, example the lowest and the highest strengths, of a certain factors assuming the intermediate levels will behave similarly. Matrixing involves the testing of a subset of samples at the specific time points assuming the results will be representative of the entire group. By using these two simple techniques, the companies can reduce the number of samples that needs to be tested and it will in turn save the time, money and resources in product development. While these methods are not mandatory, regulatory authorities like ICH recognize their value in providing reliable stability data. So let's say you're planning to use bracketing and matrixing for stability testing in pharmaceuticals. Hold on, there is a lot to consider. These include product characteristics like formulation and dosage form, regulatory requirements, critical parameters affecting stability such as strength and storage conditions, similarity assessment between extreme conditions or sample subset, statistical considerations like sample size and data analysis method, and there is also resource constraints. Additionally, your risk assessment should be conducted to identify the potential risks associated with using these study designs, including variability impact, non-compliance, and the consequences of incorrect assumptions. By carefully weighing these factors, you can ensure the stability testing is efficient, compliant, and reliable. Now let's talk about the game-changing benefits of bracketing and matrixing study designs in pharmaceutical development. These designs are all about efficiency, reducing the number of stability tests required and it in turn saves the cost, time and resources. These designs optimize resources by focusing testing efforts on critical parameters and conditions, potentially accelerating the time to market for the new drug products. They also aid in the risk management by mitigating variability impacts and ensuring reliable stability data. Additionally, they provide flexible in product development, especially with multiple strengths or formulations and help the manufacturers comply with regulatory stability testing requirements while still providing meaningful data to support product link. Data bracketing, a smart technique that allows them to streamline the process. Here how it works. First, they identify critical factors like strength, container size, and packaging materials that can affect stability. Next, they assess if extreme conditions within each factor behave similarly. For example, they would test both the lowest and the highest strengths of a drug under various storage conditions. After conducting stability tests and analyzing the results, if the extreme conditions show similar stability, they can conclude the intermediate conditions will behave similarly. Too. This means they can use the data from extreme conditions to support the stability of the intermediates, saving time and resources by reducing the number of samples that need to be tested. For example, suppose a pharmaceutical company is developing a tablet formulation of a drug in three different strengths 20 mg, 40 mg, and 80 mg. To apply bracketing, the company would test the 20 mg and 80 mg strengths under accelerated and long term storage conditions. If the data show that the 20 mg and 80 mg strengths exhibit similar stability profiles, the company can conclude that the 40 mg strength will likely behave similarly without the need of separate testing. So now let's dive into the world of matrixing. Here how it works. First they identify critical factors like different batches, strengths or packaging materials that can impact stability. Then they design a matrix that outlines which samples will be tested at specific time points strategically selecting a subset that represents the entire range of conditions. For example, if they have three different batches of drug product A, B and C and three different points for testing 0, 3 and 6 months, they may decide to test batch A at 0 and 6 months and batch B at 0 and 3 months and batch 
bat C at 3 and 6 months. By conducting stability tests on this subset of samples and analyzing the results, they can infer the stability of the entire batch or condition without testing every sample at every time point. This saves valuable time and resources which will provide reliable stability information. For example, suppose a pharmaceutical company is developing a new tablet formulation for a drug product in three different strengths. Let us say 10 mg, 20 mg and 30 mg and wants to conduct a stability testing over a period of 12 months. Instead of testing every strength at every time point, they decide to use the matrixing method. At month 0, test samples of 10 mg and 30 mg strengths will be analyzed and in 6 months, test samples of 20 mg and 30 mg and in 12th month, test samples of 10 mg and 20 mg strengths will be analyzed. By testing a subset of samples at each time point, the company can gather sufficient stability data while reducing the number of tests needed. Hope you learned some new information from this video. Comment the topics that you'd like to know more in detail and I will make a separate video that has more likes. Encourage us by hitting the like button and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications from our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.